Hello, everybody. And welcome to Mario Maker 2. The game that I promised I would never play again. And yet, here we are. <laughs> As you all remember, this game came very close to... Um, Revealing a side of me that no one wanted to see, myself included. <laughs> but today... Today I feel confident. Why? Because I have with me a secret weapon. Something that would have saved hours of my life in the past, but which now I feel confident will allow us to trump even the hottest of garbage. Behold, my secret weapon. This nifty little tool allows me to punch in a level ID from any level. After I've done so, if I get lost or stuck, or the level seems to be designed specifically to make it so that nobody could ever beat it, I can simply punch the code in here Hit download and it'll generate two level images if there's a subworld, which give me a complete map of everything I can expect to see in the level. That includes hidden blocks, wacky shortcuts, stars that are floating off in the void and supposed to be impossible to find. So tonight, it will be lack of skill and not merely hot garbage that prevents me <laughs> from completing levels. And so with that in mind, with that in mind, folks, we have the confidence we need to stride forward and perhaps to defeat even the trolliest of levels. So, shall we? I figure we'll start off with a few hot courses, let a few folks join in, and then uh, go from there. Just a nice clean start. So, let's refresh the screen and see what Nintendo thinks is hot today. Trollbuster mode. First course is Sounds by Label123 with a 16% 6, I'm sorry, 40% clear rate. It's already off to a pretty decent start. Let's see how we fare. This will be good for me to get used to the controls, too. Mario Maker handles a little differently from most of the platformers I play. Oh, okay, all right, so kind of unnecessary. Lots of sound effects here. Lots of sound. Wow. Oh my gosh Okay, well That didn't exactly push us to our limits, but that's okay <laughs> We're off to a smooth start if not necessarily a skilled one <laughs> That was a 40% clear rate, yeah. Very hard TA and template. Okay, now this one has no clears, but 43 attempts. Let's give it a shot. See if we can't be the first. Speed run. Oh boy. I mean, you guys know how good I am at speed runs. <laughs> 20 second speed run. Oh my goodness. I think it's tool assisted, which... Ow, that's not good. Well, Luke, I did say I wouldn't play it again. But I've just come back from vacation and I'm in an unreasonably good mood. Okay, I should have, I should have. Ah! I don't think I'm gonna make it to the, this is a, this is a, I just noticed this is a title screen level. Ah! Oh, it's terrible. All right, well, it's just a title screen level with a ti short timer. Yeah, Luke, I, I did say I wouldn't play it again, but I'm in such a good mood, I thought, you know, we gotta, we gotta give it a try. We gotta try one more time. That being said, I will be skipping title screen levels just because if it's a level that's clearly just somebody took Nintendo's own level and slapped a few little things in it, we're just gonna skip those by default because those are not interesting. All right, here we go. New Super Mario Brothers. Ooh, all right, all right. Looks like a traditional underworld. Whoa, okay. Well, I asked for that one. <laughs> Let's try this again. 
You know, part of me wants out. <laughs> We're already <laughs> already off to a strong start here. All right, let's try this. Okay, so I know I gotta be more careful this time. Let's grab this, it might come in handy. There we go. Whoa! All right. Oh, I, um, whoa, ho, ho, ho. Okay. Let's say I need those bombs. All right, going down. Hey, we got the checkpoint. That's nice. No power up yet, but a checkpoint's pretty cool. Whoops, careful. You gotta resist the urge to, like, just keep jumping straight to the right in these levels. Which is funny, because, I mean, when you think about it, a lot of traditional Mario Maker platformers didn't expect you to just always go to the right. <laughs> okay, somebody's not enjoy- somebody didn't enjoy this course, apparently. Oh, there's the flag. All right. That's not too bad. That's not too bad, right? We're off to a, we're off to a decent start here. <laughs> All right, chat. What do you think? I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to decide whether we boo, like, or skip each course we play. So, what do you think? Is that a boo, a like, or a skip? And I'm just gonna take the first vote unless we get like lots of contradictory votes or lots of people in the chat. Right now, it says there's three of yes, so I'll just take the first. First vote. Ugh, excuse me. I'm gonna take a drink of water too, because apparently I really need it. Ugh. And if nobody says anything, then I will just skip the level. Mm. Mm. I guess it was alright. Alright. We'll give it a like. So what kind of a... How, how's your guys' week been? Like I said, today was my first day back from vacation. Ooh, this looks like fun. The Moon by name I very much cannot read because that's in Japanese. But it looks like a fun level and it's art, which is usually a good thing, right? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, SMB2. Nice. I like the SMB2 mushroom. Okay, I'm slightly less excited about the wind. Okay, looks like we're just descending here. Oh. Huh. I would say, I don't know if we were supposed to fall down there, but this seems to work fine. Ow. Did not mean to do that. Oh, gosh. Ah, so many of these. Okay. Well, we got another power-up. That's nice. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't ready for the breeze there. Oh, okay, let's just look out for a spike here. He, you know, he throws them pretty fast. Oops. Ah. Whoa. This could be a problem. Okay. Uh... Ah, look out for the hammer and the and 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 everything else. Oh my gosh, there's ah! I walked right into it. Oh well. <laughs> okay, so we know it does actually get legitimately more challenging as you go further down. It starts off being pretty straightforward, but you actually gotta you actually gotta put some effort in. I'm just gonna go straight down. Yeah, there's... Oh. Maybe not? Wait, is this a soft lock? Guys, have we been soft locked? Hey! <laughs> hey, Bob's, welcome to the chat! Thank you for the raid, it's good to have you here! We're just, uh... Just playing, uh... Some Mario Maker, because apparently I didn't... Didn't think there was enough hot garbage in my diet. Oh, okay, here we go. We can go up this way. What? Well, it's, we kind of can go this way. There we go. All right. Oh my gosh. How are you doing, man? What were you, what were you playing? I, uh... Oh, 
Ah, okay. I keep I keep getting too over eager here. It's good to see ya. Ah. Oh, Paper Mario. I like it. Yeah, I uh, I uh, I took the last week off mostly because um um whoa. Forgot about those guys at first. I um I was on vacation. Oops. Okay, let's just skip this nonsense. Okay, so now we know we gotta go around the spikes. The, the mizzen mast? Is that how it's pronounced? Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. Okay. I'm gonna use this guy to help protect me from some additional nonsense. There we go. Now I have a little more space. And if I take a hit, it won't be such a big deal. Ow. Checkpoint! I'm enjoying this level. I mean, I, I definitely got pummeled a couple times, but I'm having a good time. Oh, okay. Alright. Got it. Let's throw this at... We got unlimited power-ups. This is, this is all good. It, yeah. Unlimited power-ups. Oh, I forgot. You actually you actually got to hold down the run button. There we go. Hey, what's up with the What's up with the Ah! What's up with the conveyor belt going the opposite direction? That's rude. Are you Look at this. Are you guys seeing this? How am I supposed to hit Bowser with the conveyor belt doing its own thing? There we go. Okay, now give me another one. Give me another one. Give me another one. There we go. I just got I just got to get my moment, momentum down. Well, okay, that works. <laughs> ah! You know what? I actually like this boss fight, but I could do without the wind. I think the I think the wind detracts from it slightly. Ah! There we go. Did you just throw something else in my head or are you just saying that now? <laughs> It's not hitting Bowser. What do you mean it's not hitting Bowser? It has to be hitting Bowser, otherwise it wouldn't break. Ah, enough of the wind! Okay, well that one didn't hit him. That's true. Whoop, hang on. Okay. Alright. I think Bowser can take like 10 of these, so basically I just gotta... I mean, with the unlimited power-ups, basically I'm just trying to avoid running out the clock. There we go. Uh... Hold on. What... what am I supposed to do now? Oh, I gotta... I gotta... I gotta... I gotta drop the... I gotta drop the note block by... I gotta... I gotta... Nah! <laughs> I can't speak coherently tonight. <laughs> there we go. Oh, hey! I love this song. All right, chat. Well, if you're asking the streamer's opinion, this is a very good level. Thoroughly enjoyable. Had a good checkpoint. Boss battle was a little rough because of the wind, but otherwise, I mean... I enjoyed it. What do you think, chat? Do we give that one a do we give that one a like? Does that one does that one get the get the heart from us? All right, let's do it. You get a like, creator from Japan. Thank you for giving us something fun to play. We haven't What do you guys know? We haven't had to use our weapon for detecting hot garbage yet. I'm kind of impressed. 
Fly Desert by Pandanessa, 48% clear rate. All right, let's do another hot course and then we'll maybe move on to a super world or something. Just kind of easing back into this game after having not picked it up for like a year. I, I agree with you there, Tux. It's like, hey, you actually wanted to make a course that's like fun to play. <laughs> I just like going up as high as I possibly can with this thing. I'm probably going to fall into a bottomless pit and it'll be all my fault. Okay, well, or I could just do that. <laughs> well, I mean, this is pretty straightforward. Yeah, all right. What do you think, chat? Not a lot of challenge there. Not not very difficult, not particularly unique, but certainly not painful. Do we give it a boo? Do we like it or do we skip it? <laughs> it was nice and casual. All right, like it it is. Thanks, bubs. Hey, appreciate having you here as always. Thanks for lurking and thanks for bringing, bringing, your, uh, bringing your folks by. If you guys haven't seen me before, by the way, Thanks for taking the time to hang out with me. And if you have, thanks for taking the time to hang out with me. Either way, thanks. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, let's refresh. Underground Funk. Ooh, 3% clear rate. My first course uploaded today by Groovy Hank. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's find out if Groovy Hank's first course is as groovy as his name. Look at that me. Did you guys see that me? Oh. Okay, well, we're off to a bad start. Ah! I hate spike kick. Wow. That's a that is a very loud device. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Let's do let's start this over again so we can actually get the mushroom. We're gonna beat this level. I know, famous last words, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hope. Okay. Ah, I got too greedy. Okay. All right. All right. Let's do this. Whew. Uh, what? What? Hey! Not cool, Groovy Hank. Not cool. Hmm. All right, well, maybe it was a fluke. Maybe there's just one bad design choice. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Oh, hey! Oh, okay. Um. Hmm. Hank is not making a strong case for himself as a level creator, I just gotta say. First level, huh? Okay, so we know that there's a Kaizo block. We know that there's a Thwomp. We know that booze come out of that block, not a power-up like I was hoping. <laughs> propane and propane accessories, huh? And, all right, well, we got a checkpoint. That's good, we got a checkpoint at least. No, don't get another, okay. Oh, okay. All right, well, okay, that's 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 rough, but we do have a checkpoint, so there is that at least. Whoa, oh boy, hi-yo! Okay, snake block. Oh. Snake block. Sna snake block! I wasn't ready for that, <laughs> clearly. 
Okay, that's that's all right. We are making progress. Oh, right. I keep... <clears throat> I keep forgetting about that one. I keep forgetting about that one! This is a very large fire bar, I just gotta say. I, I don't... You know what? I don't think I can go through there quickly. I think I gotta be careful. I don't think there's any way to do that except to, like, go gently. Like... Well, that timing is harder than it looks. Alright, alright. Tell you what, let's do this. Wake that up. And then... And now we just keep with a snake block. Oh. Uh... Well, this isn't ideal. I think you're right, Luke. I think I think there is a slight cutoff. Okay. We'll fix it a little later. Okay. Let's hope this is the end. Hey. Hmm, interesting. There's a blockage behind. All right, chat. What do you think? Groovy Hank's first level. Do we give Groovy Hank do we give Groovy Hank the benefit of the doubt for those trolley elements or do we do we boo the course outright? What do you guys think? And while you're doing that, I will work on resizing the capture card. You guys tell me what you think. I don't know, I mean it it was Oh, hey, look at that. Now it's kind of poking into the chat room. No like or dislike. All right, you heard you heard the you heard the You heard the chat, Hank. You're getting off easy today, but that was not a good that was not not the strongest of starts, but we are we're going to hope we're going to hope that it gets better. All right, I'm going to just I'm just going to float you guys above my head. How's that? Slightly over the top of the game looks a little weird though. Hmm. Maybe if I, you know what? I might have to just shrink this window down. There we go. That way you guys still have room. <laughs> All right. No like, no dislike. We just we just move on from that level. All right. Let's see here. Here's a course just called Drive. Ah! Let's play Drive. Ah! With its 33% clear rate. How bad could it be? It's a 3D world level, which is usually a problem. I don't like the look of, like I don't like the look of that pipe. Yeah, we're not doing that. Uh Okay. Okay. I feel like one of these has to be instant death. What do you guys think? Is now the time to bring out the, the secret weapon or are we gonna are we gonna take this level's You know what? We'll give the level the benefit of the doubt. We will do one cold run before we try any shenaniganery. Oh hi Bowser. What? Okay, lots of cars. And Bowsers. Huh. And more Bowsers. Well then. I mean, I don't... I don't know what to make of that course. <laughs> that was, uh... That was certainly interesting. For... A number of reasons. Uh... What do you think, chat? Does does that I guess we just I think we should just skip that one personally. I don't I don't feel like there was anything innately offensive. It just didn't have much going on. I think the title was probably the most exciting. Just drive. Ah. <laughs> ah okay. Hi 
sense of pain coming to the Mario. <laughs> Thank you, Anis. Thank you for that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna just move on from that course. Let's refresh the hot courses list. And then what do you guys think? Should we do a, uh... oh, it's a refresher. It's a refreshing course. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna do this course called QW with its eight second world record. Good to see you, Undies. Welcome to the chat. Thanks for watching, and thanks for the thanks for redeeming the <laughs> redeeming the channel points, so I can continue to say goofy things as Mario. Okay, this looks a little bit like a parody of One One. Just threw something right at my head. I like I like when you said that, Shiny. I like to imagine that you said it like Snake. There. Ooh, that. That was a little gruffer than I expected it to be. Yeah, it's good to see you too. Oh, hey, hey guys, we, we found the end of the level. <laughs> okay, uh, well, now I understand where the eight second world record came from. You could basically just run to the right for that course. All right, uh, I know I promised I'd let you guys vote, but there was nothing to say. All right. Oh, here we guys look. It's a troll level with a pretty impressive, uh, pretty impressive clear rate. Three seconds. Well, you know we gotta check this out. Somebody else figured out how to cheese it. So how do we do it? To answer your question, Undies, I don't have a bot set up for it, but if you have a level code you want me to try out, I will absolutely give it a shot. No promises though that I will actually like beat the course but i will certainly be willing to give it a try for you that is not a troll level that's just that's just a that's just the flagpole <laughs> ah, now i remember why i don't play this game all right Let's refresh the hot courses list again. Airship platforming. Platforming in the airship with piranhas. Thank you for playing. Enjoy. 32 second world record by Toad. Woohoo! Play my course. Ow. <laughs> All right, I won't do a Toad impression. You made your point. All right. Oh, that. Mm, no. No comments. No comments, please. Uh, listen, I can't do a French accent and Toad voice at the same time. I can't even do a French accent. And this is despite the fact that, like, a not insignificant number of people think I might actually be French. Oh. I jumped too early. Toad is... You know, Tux, you say that, and I can think of, like, several answers as to why you might make that assertion, but, like, absolutely none of them wouldn't be, like, kind of rude. <laughs> Down to my dress and hairstyle. I dress like I'm French? Is that, is that what, is that what we're saying here? I look fashionable like a French person? I give off the Ratatouille vibes? Oh, okay. Uh, bah! I whiffed that jump. I whiffed it. That's on me. Oh, I see. <laughs> I get it. So Tux wasn't trying to be funny. Tux actually just uh, knows how to read, which clearly I do not. <clears throat> okay. No whiffing. No whiff. Oh, uh, mm. all right. All right. Whoa! Okay, I was obviously not ready for that. <laughs> I will be next time, though. Dun. 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 It's kind of funny how Mario Maker is like, there are modes where death is a slap on the wrist, and then there's others where it just ruins your whole day. <laughs> Did I serious? Ah... Uh... I missed the jump again. Stereotypical French. You wound me, sir. Uh, 
Also, this is the kind of game I really should play with a D-pad. I don't know why I was using the thumbstick. Okay. So you gotta jump right out of the gate. Alright, second checkpoint. We were so close to it every time. Probably means this is where the rubber really hits the road. Oh, well, okay. I actually legitimately expected it to get harder from there, but that was the end. What do you think, chat? Does that course deserve a like? I feel like that it, it's a cravat. I see. Well, it's a good thing I'm not living in the 18, 1700s, right? That would be a little unfortunate for me, based on the way I'm dressed. Tux, Tux has concluded that that course deserves a like. That was a pretty, that was actually a pretty enjoyable course. Like, not very hard, but definitely the right kind of skill level for me. <laughs> Uh, this course only has six attempts and nobody's cleared it yet. Let's see if we can't be the first. I don't know how that makes it a hot course, but I guess we'll find out in a moment. Speed run. Oh no. <laughs> These are... Ow! <laughs> Wait, this is the same title screen level again. Okay, we're not doing this. No. No, 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 we're not doing title screen levels. This is not a title screen level night. It's not a ninja level, it's, no, it's none of that. Final automatic by Mario Bacon. Well, it's an automatic, so. Uh, I don't know what that's all about. To the obligatory Among Us joke. You got Imagine Dragons and TurboTax? Wow. I, I've got some interesting sponsors. People telling you to do your taxes and people telling you to listen to really bad music. <laughs> Good to see it, Isale. Also, if there are any Imagine Dragons fans in the chat, I do apologize for your taste. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, see, when I went to college, they were like one of the big things. And okay, we have to try this course called. No, no, we don't. You're dead. Three out of seven attempts. So, they had this contest where if you could edit an Imagine Dragons video, like, if you if you could imagine, if you could edit an Imagine Dragons video, okay, I feel like we could cheese this. Um, oh, okay, I guess I don't remember how that power-up is supposed to work. Anyways... Basically, you had to you had to edit the video, which I feel like my controls here are inverted. Basically, I did it for long enough to decide that I never wanted to hear. Okay, that does not make any sense. Why is that happening? Mario is turning in free space. He doesn't turn left or right. He just keeps turning left after a while. Okay, I see it now. I mean, this doesn't look like the kind of course that actually requires legitimate effort to beat, but I've restarted it four times, so maybe I don't get to make that sort of remark. Okay, I think we can just cheese this. Just dip Mario's head in the lava. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Well, that is uh, definitely not how the creator intended us to beat the course, but they didn't block off the exit exactly, so yeah. All right, chat. Well, I got the world record, so that's that's cool. I got the world record by fumbling my way around the level. <laughs> Student loan payment pauses? Oh, are they doing those again? That's good news. I know some people are uh, some people are affected by that. I think I'm one of them. So I am not dead. I am in fact very much alive and we succeeded. Sorry, it's bad. All right. Well, the course just this this developer just came right out and said their course is bad, so that should be interesting. Ah, man. Whoa. I don't like this. Why is there a bomb and a poison mushroom hanging out? 
That's concerning to me. Oh. Okay. Well, that's that's not great. Uh why is that chain chomp's vine so did you guys see the size of that chain on that chain chomp? Are they always like that? Ah! Ugh. Okay, I was not ready for that. I've I've never used TurboTax. You found your copy of Super Mario Maker? It wait, is this the original one or are you playing are you playing on Switch or Wii U? Ah, mm, I am not good at Mario Maker Bullet Hell. Hey, wait a minute. These guys can't hit me if I stand right next to them. There we go. Cheat it! <laughs> okay, so you do have more. I mean, I have the other one, but it would take some effort for me to pull it out and bring it up here. <laughs> uh, end of the level? Maybe? Yeah, that's, that's the end. Huh. I kind of assumed the key door would, like, have more stuff going on. That was strange. Well, what do you think, chat? Was that actually bad? Was it actually bad? Was it passable? It's kind of like a little bit of bullet hell. Not too terrible. It was a yet. Yeah, it was it a was it a boo or a hard sale? You're the first to speak up. What do you think? We'll give all right. We'll give it a like. I've certainly seen worse levels. I'm not good at bullet hell, but I did manage. All right. For funsies. Now. As I remember, there's a detailed search button. Or not detailed search, but there's... It's at the... There it is. Course ID. Alright. Yakima, Bravo, 3, Jelloetta, Delta, Foxtrot, Voltorb, Ludwig, Hotel. Somebody in the military is trying to figure out what I just said. Okay, so I didn't read it correctly. Oh, that's not an L. It's an it's a one. Okay, there we go. That should do it. Undies Coat Factory. Six percent clear rate. Three attempts successful. Current world record is almost two minutes. All right, let's do this. Undies, I reserve the right either to quit or to cheese your level by using my secret weapon. Just so we're aware. <laughs> All right. Huh. Secret blocks? Oh, I see. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a yeek. Okay. Okay, so it's a it's a pretty precise little jump here. I know what it actually is, Luke. It's just not my, trust me. I've I've got family members that were like in the in the navy and stuff. I just like saying it my way. Ooh, that is that requires a lot more momentum than I thought it would. All right, well here we go again. There's no secret stars here, are there, Undies? Ugh! Wow, you got a full send of that jump. Ba. Ow. <laughs> no, I, did, I fell. What is your child now? What do you mean by that? What do you mean, SAL? I want to be the guy? Oh, no. Ah!
that game, boy, that, mmm, that's, that's like a flashback to the early history of the internet. That's, that's, that's the days of Newgrounds and Shockwave and getting, get, ah. What is your child? Oh, sorry to say, I didn't even notice. Um, thing is, you don't actually, you don't actually ha have anybody in this game that you can name. So I'm going to give you back your channel points. Give me a sec, okay? Let me go in here and do this. Uh, mark that one as complete. And yeah, I don't, I don't see any channel points here. Oh, you didn't, you didn't actually spin them yet. You didn't actually spin them yet. Okay, well, what it means is if we were playing a game where you could name someone, you would be able to, do, you'd be able to claim exclusive naming rights. So you would get to do that. But since this is a game where you can't really name anything, we, we don't, that, that reward doesn't really work during this kind of stream. But if I was like playing Pokemon again or something, then you would get to name whatever Pokemon or whatever I got. Yeah, like that kind of thing. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Ugh. Ugh. I, I'm, you know what? I'm getting faked out by the spike hit boxes. Cause spike hit boxes in Mario Maker Two are terrible. I mean, there's no other way to put it. They're just bad. Oy. All right, let's try this. Uh, ooh. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Come on, Jello. Full send it, and then stop. Ah! I was so close. I was so close. Oh, that stings. All right, all right, all right, all right, that's okay. See, here's the thing. This is challenging, but like, I wouldn't call this bad level design. And undies, I'm not saying that just to spare your feelings. Like, I've... Anyone who's watched me knows that I stopped playing Mario Maker 2 a long time ago. After dealing with enough bad level design to basically almost lose my mind in front of everybody. Which was not an experience anybody wanted. Okay, I want to see what's up here. I mean, I have to know. Oh, that looks like cheese. That looks like sweet, sweet Gouda cheese. Mm. Maybe. Maybe not. Ah, uh, it's not cheesable. It's not cheesable, is it? You thought about it. But Mario cannot get up that high. I. I came close. I never published the video where I actually lost it because I watched it and I was like, nope, this is not the jello that I want to be. And so when that happened, oh, the cape, okay. All right, all right. No cheese here, just determination. Oh boy, we got a bot in the chat. It's been a while since that happened. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, well. What? What? Why didn't Mario go in there? Ah, uh, and no checkpoint. You could have at least given me the checkpoint, Undies. Come on. Somebody, somebody, somebody needs to, somebody needs to give me a snack or something for this. <laughs> you Swiss, you can make it easier, but you're... Okay. Thank you, Tux. Thank you for that. <laughs> I need to start... I need to start... I need to start imposing a pun fee. No! 
Na. Na. <laughs> Tux, you're terrible. Ah, uh, oh, I fell. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We're going to get this. We're going to get this. Because I am not frustrated. I am merely... Merely kerfuffled. Okay, that... that that was unfortunate. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a cotton pick in second. Okay. Okay, alright, alright. <laughs> okay, alright. There we go. If you're real careful about that jump, you can nail it pretty easily. Okay, all right. A new band phrase, Olive. Okay, so I know I gotta take at least one more hit. There we go. Good, good. Now do I get a checkpoint? Whoa. Okay. And these are there checkpoints in this level? Tell me you put a checkpoint somewhere in this level. <laughs> okay. All right. Go up here. Ooh, that's rough. You don't ah! You don't remember? That's even worse. Okay, okay, all right, we're good. Ha! Thank you, Tux, thank you for that. You know, you know what my biggest concern is, actually? It's timing out. I'm, I'm worried I'm gonna time out because I don't know how long this level lasts. Ah! Ugh. Whoa. You know what, though, Undies? I'll give you some credit for putting these safety blocks here. Like, you could kill yourself on this wall, but you put a safety catch there to make it harder, so I appreciate that. That being said, I legitimately don't think I'm going to make it through this level. I think I'm actually going to time out, which is really tragic. How do I keep missing that? Oh, man. He's just not getting there. He's literally just not getting there. Ah. And then I overcompensate the other direction. No! Ah. The pain. All right. <clears throat> we'll try this again. <laughs> I I gotta be careful or I'm gonna let the sunk cost foul Okay. I I gotta be careful. I'm gonna end up letting the sunk cost fallacy take over here. Ugh. Okay. Alright. <sighs> Good. Well, that's the first time I've messed that up. At least in a while. Okay. Ah. Ugh. 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 Hey. Ah. Bummer. I didn't think I hit that spike, but all right. <laughs> Well, that time I, that time I overshot it. Good, good, good. Ugh. What? Ah, uh. <laughs> I didn't, that time I didn't go far enough. We 
keep getting so close. So close! Come on, Jello, come on. This reminds me of when I used to play Dance Dance Revolution, and the announcer would go, Everybody, ah, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. That's not what the narrator would say. <clears throat> Sorry, the narrator would say, "Everybody's watching you," and I'm like, "That's how I feel right now with Mario Maker." <laughs> you love this level like a son. Well, you know, you might still love it like a son, but now it's like that son that like grew up to be the family disappointment. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Whew. It took us a while to get back here, but we did it. So, there's that. Okay. Good, good. Alright, alright. This part of- that part of the level is significantly easier. It's these tight, super tight jumps that are like kicking me in the keister. Alright, alright, alright. I think I just gotta, I think I just gotta trust the jump. I think that's what I gotta do, is just trust it! Oh! Okay, well. That's kind of correct, but then I gotta, like, immediately counter it. Good, okay. Ugh! I overcompensated again. Okay. All right, all right. Ugh! I keep pulling back too early because I'm afraid of overshooting it. I gotta stop being afraid of overshooting it. I have got to commit to that jump. That's, that's my only option. I have got to commit. I can't just assume I'll fall over. I got to... Okay, well, that time I did commit. It was just a bad jump. Oh... That was terrifying. Okay. Mm. Okay. Good, good. <sighs> Darn. Ah. <clears throat> well. I'm curious if anybody else had any comments about this course. Ryu car's like instinct for detecting just how far a jump should go. That's something he really excels at. I'm jealous. Oh. How? How did I walk into that? Ah, <laughs> Mario, stop it! I swear Mario handles like Luigi in Mario Maker 2. He just slip and slides off of everything. <laughs> Did I ever have tell you guys somebody at... This is legitimately more difficult than the rest of the level has been so far. I can't get past here consistently. Although, to be honest, those last, those, those other jumps on the way up to the Red Koopas, those are kind of the devil. Okay. Ah! Son of a ding-dong! Scat man. Anyway, this person, this person said it sounded like I could rap. And... 
I didn't know how to explain to him that just because I could rhyme a sentence with relative ease if given a moment didn't mean that I was like a good rapper. <laughs> Whew. Okay, we made it. I wish so I wish so badly. Words cannot describe how much I wish I could cheese this. I want so badly to cheese this part of the level. Urgh! But Mario will not let me do it. He won't go up high enough. What if I were to do this? Well, if he hits the wall, that doesn't help. He hit the wall again. Mario, stop hitting the wall. You can't blame me for trying, Undies. I, I gotta try. Oh, I was so close. I don't think I don't think Kate Mario can do it though. It doesn't help that he keeps smacking into the wall. Can I jump off the block the cape is from? No. Not really. Because Mario goes into flight and then he treats the he treats the block like another. Oh, I see what you're thinking. Okay, all right, let's try that. No, he he didn't. Hang on. Even if I could, I don't think the spin is gonna give me the height that I need. Also, Mario keeps slipping right off of it. Yeah, it doesn't give me the height that I need. All right, one more time with a standard jump and then, yeah. No dice, no cheesing for, okay, well, whatever. He don't really need the cape anyway for that part. <laughs> the cape, the cape is just there to give you the necessary two hits. All right, we're gonna try this section one more time, and if I bomb out again, then, and by bomb out I mean run out of time or throw myself off the edge here, that will be, that will be our finish. Yeah, that jump. The first one is hard. The second one is just brutal. Because you have to get a running start, but it's not, you don't have a lot of room to do that with just one block. And I overshot it. And I overshot, undershot it. Erg. <sighs> oh boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> nope, I fell all the way down again. Come on. Ah. <sighs> Well, I don't think I have the skill necessary to beat this, but I am, I am going to pull out the secret weapon. All right, folks, let's do this. Let's see. Time to switch to our level browser. All right, so course ID for this experience was YB3, JDF, V1H. Let's see here, what do we get? 
It might take a second. There we go. Okay. So, this course has the overworld and the world. So, you enter this first pipe, and then once you enter that first pipe, can you guys see what I'm doing? Okay. So, you enter the first pipe, and once you do that, you're deposited here, and yeah. See, if I had been able to get up here, I could have cheesed it. But there was a lot more level, it looks like, going on. So you go all the way over here, and you go through the B section. And then once you descend from there, you go up here, and you make these little jumps. And then you can just slide off all these guys, and make all of these really tiny jumps. And then you go up and over and around. And then you go into pipe C, and once you dropped off pipe C, you gotta go over here. And presumably you picked up a power-up somewhere. I, I didn't see where. I don't see a power-up. There's no hidden power-up, so... Oh, I see. There's a power-up there. There's a question mark block that has it here. So you'd pick this up, and then you'd spin through here, and you'd have to spin through all of them. And then once you got to the D pipe, you'd go down here, and you'd have one more jump. But, to Undy's credit, there are no Kaizo blocks here, and you still have the cape, so it's a little easier. And then you would be able to pass through the goal pole. So, it would, Here, here's, here's where you would eventually end up, and here's the pipe, and yeah, and that's, that's what you'd have to do to get through this whole, whole course. So, uh, yeah, um, I don't think I was ever going to do that. <laughs> I don't think I was legitimately ever going to finish that course, uh. I put a fair amount of time and effort into it, but I don't, I, you know, guys, I just, mm, 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 I don't see myself being able to beat that one. However, um, I will leave it up to you, chat. I'm not sure if this counts as, so here's the thing, undies, and I'm saying this because I say this about all courses, so don't, you know, don't take it personal. I don't think this necessarily qualifies as bad level design. Um, the only thing about it that maybe I would have changed is would have, would have been to add a checkpoint somewhere in here, because that's a lot of really precise jumps. Um, and you're not given a whole lot of, like, you're not given a whole lot of, um, you're not given a lot of mercy. Like, it's okay to, you know, struggle and miss a jump, but there's no checkpoint system, there's no recovery. Um... It's definitely not the kind of course that like somebody skilled at Mario Maker wouldn't have trouble with, would have trouble with. Like this would be easy for somebody who was better at this game than me. But I, I struggle. I struggle pretty hard. But I, I think other than maybe adding a checkpoint, I don't really have a whole lot to actually legitimately complain about. So, <laughs> so I'll, I'll give it. I'll leave it up to you, chat. I mean, my inclination is that I don't necessarily need to boo it. After all, it was recommended. Um, and it was, you know, I was playing it because Undies had a suggestion, and I appreciate the level suggestion, even if I could not beat the level. But I don't know that that necessarily, uh, I don't know that that necessarily deserves a boo. So, what do you guys think? <laughs> we, we made it, but we didn't make it to the end. At least, at least we know what we would have been in for, and as you guys can tell, it's, it's quite a bit of stuff. I never... I never would have been able to do it all in time, so we gave it a, we gave it our best shot. I do appreciate the level suggestion undies. Um, I think rather than drop a boo or, or drop a like, because I I do have some reasons to struggle with it. I'm simply going to exit the course, <laughs> and it will have to it'll have to claim. You will have to claim another victory. But hey, three people did beat it, and it only took them two minutes, so it's it's definitely feasible. Like, this course is absolutely beatable, it's not uncleared, I just, I lack the necessary skills to do it myself. <laughs> but thank you, Undies, if, for, the, for the course suggestion. I'm sorry I couldn't beat it for you, but thanks for putting it on my, uh, 
thanks for putting it on my plate and giving me a, giving me a shot at it. Even if it wasn't the kind of course I excel at, I did I did appreciate the invitation. So, um, all right, let's go back to the courses. Wow, there are a lot of refreshing courses here. <laughs> what? It was not. I wouldn't call it a bad course, Undies. I just, I, it was just beyond my capacity to succeed there. All right, let's, uh... If you guys have any other level codes you want me to try, go ahead. Otherwise, I'm gonna dive back into hot courses, and then maybe we should do a super world after that. What do you guys think? Reach the goal after defeating all one Meowser. Ooh, Meowser. Okay, um... Oh, well, that was less than... Oh, okay, the water's going up. Water's going up! I... How did I die out of that? that? That was a dumb way to die. I take it back. That was a dumb way to die. Okay, so evidently I'm not supposed to make that jump. There we go, that's better. Oh! Okay, well, level condition complete. That was easy enough. Oh. There's the flagpole. <laughs> I, uh... Huh! What do you think, chat? Boo, like boo or skip? What, what do we make of that? <laughs> you got Kirby's house? Dang, I want Kirby's house. I'll bet he has a pretty cool house. I always, I always thought Kirby must have a pretty slick house. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right, chat. You know what? We'll just, we'll just move on. <laughs> All right, another hot course, and then it's onwards to Chomp Chomp Dog with a 29% clear rate. I'd like something with a slightly lower one. I did this course for days! 18 second world record. Okay. <laughs> I feel like either the level creator or Nintendo is lying to me. Reach the goal after defeating Lemmy. Lenny, the one known for throwing orbs at you. Oh, wow, look, chain chomps. Wow, lots of chain chomps. It's like chain chomp central over here. Oh, oh, okay. Right. Whoa, hey, whoa! Why are there so many spikes? Whoa, hi! Hi, boys. Hello. You want to come over here? No? Wow, there's, there's a lot going on here. Ow. Okay, well, let's go back over here. The sleeping in him. I mean, Kirby's pretty great. Oh, okay. I guess Roy's following me all the way over here. How many hits does this man take? He just dug out of a spike. Y'all see that? Okay, so I, I, uh, I guess that was the other hit. Good to know. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> Kirby the Vagabond. Kirby, Kirby doesn't need a house. Kirby sleeps where Kirby wants to sleep. All right, chat. All right, chat. Let's do it. I want to go to, I want to go to a super world. We've got lots of options. We've got Gamer Guy 51, 9 Tatsumi 10, Emiliano 62, Jack Wu, Gamer Kid 63, 268 minus, Ninji Lag, something I absolutely cannot read. What do you think, chat? Any of these sound interesting? Or should I just Here, I you know what? Here's what I'll do. I will spin the roulette around until one of you throws a Pokeball at me. Is 
And I'll keep my eyes closed so you guys can't see it. So I can't see it. Ow. <laughs> Ninja Lag World it is! Four worlds, 20 courses. Let's do it. And hope it's good. And also not, like, absolutely bent on destroying me. 380 people are trying this course right now. Let's see how we do with our 30 lives. This is, like, the closest we're ever going to get to a run. Like, a standard run. Mario's Adventure, page one. Work! Yeah, that's how I feel. I have to work now? Uh, uh, okay. There are a lot of comments, so let's turn these off. Whoa. Wow. Lo a lot of these guys. Alright. <laughs> that! Okay, well, well, hi, Ant Trooper. I'm just trying to, like, give myself some clearance here, but I guess this works! This- Wow, there's a lot to unpack here. Okay. The bully is really getting in my way. Okay. Going straight down. Whoa! Hey, 10 extra lives. That's cool. Oh, wow. Uh, hello. That is a very long Piranha Creeper. Or it was a very long Piranha Creeper. Okay, I know this swamp's gonna try to crush me. Yeah. This seems pretty straightforward. Wow, that's a long... That is a very long, clear pipe. Alright, let's do this. Uh, give me the key. Hi, Boom Boom. That works. Oh, whoa. Gotta be careful. I could take the floor out. Hadn't even thought about that. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. How... How did I do that? And I gotta start over. No. Uh, apparently a lot of people have died in this portion of the level. Okay, I'm a little embarrassed about that one. You think I could just cheese the level that way, Luke? That makes sense. Maybe I could. At least I got a bunch more lives for dying. I've been rewarded for my failure. Piranha Creepers have some weird shapes in this game. What?! Hold on, what was- what was that?! Happen. That doesn't make any sense. I was. I absolutely jumped on him at his short. at his. How? How? What, what was that? Ow! Aww! <laughs> I got hit across the face and hit in the face. The pain. The pain of it all. I keep getting rewarded for my failure, though, so, like, it feels like a bittersweet way to die. It's like, every time I die, I get ten more lives. Well, not every time, but... Whoa, hey. The Pokeball. <laughs> Thank you, Shiny. Appreciate that. <laughs> How? What? I'm jumping on it when I'm supposed to. Why does that keep happening? That is not supposed to happen. What? Why is this game so janky? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Are you guys seeing this? I'm jumping on the thing right when I'm supposed to. I could not possibly be missing the jump. What? How? What am I doing 
wrong? Why does that keep happening? Why does that keep... Okay, well, I know why that happened. But why does that keep happening? Th is anyone else seeing it? Am I just blind? Am I just absolutely not playing the game the way I'm supposed to? And that's what's happening? I've all You're supposed to jump on top of those guys when they're at their shortest point, And it's not doing that. It's literally registering it as a death. I don't get it. Why is the thing killing me? And I have to kill it. What was that all about? That was so strange. Okay, so now we're gonna go up the really long pipe again. Okay. And now we're gonna grab a mushroom. And then we're gonna go back. Because I wanna see what's up here. Okay. Is there anything here? Nah, there's nothing here. But you can't blame me for looking. All right, let's try. Let's try Luke's suggestion and just. Uh, okay. I think I'm soft locked. Or not. He he could just keep bouncing into my head. This is the dumbest boss fight. Boom Boom is just actively dying. Okay, well, sure. You were right, Luke. That's, uh... Whoa! Ah! That stings. That does look like cheese. I think you're right, Luke. I think I can cheese that. I might, like you said, I might not even need the key. Thwomp, jump over the thwomp, go through the unnecessarily long pipe with a bunch of dudes doing a bop back and forth. We're gonna cheat. We're gonna we're gonna try to cheese this course now. Grab the mush. Go up. Struggling with this wall jump here. <laughs> boom boom's making it easier. Wall jumps in Mario Maker are actually super clumsy to me. I don't know why. Hi, Boom Boom. Okay. All right, so we, they, hey, hey. Good, good eye, Luke. Wow, Boom Boom is still following us. I've actually got to admit, I'm pretty impressed with his tenacity. All right, chat, what do you think? Like, boo, or skip? Like, boo, or skip? How do we feel about that course?
Credit for the credit to you for the cheese there, Luke. That was an interesting experience. Yeah, I think you're right. All right, well, I don't think it was a very good chorus, but if you guys don't dislike it, then we'll just let it slide. Next course. Let's see. All right, so that first course isn't that great, but maybe the creator redeemed themselves with this next one that has only 66 players. Let's see. Mario's Adventure Part 2, Key Coins. Is the whole thing 3D World, do you think? Yeah, well, obviously we gotta check this whole area for hidden blocks and stuff. Alright, I guess there's no hidden blocks. Oh no, excavation? Not excavation. Alright, now we're gonna do Cat Mario. I bet the key coins are required. Yep, they're probably required. Okay, there's another one there. This seems fine. I kind of want to try to go over. Ah, I missed. Okay, you know what? Let's just play it the way we're supposed to. Donut blocks and all. Wait, what? Yikes. Uh... Are you... Are you serious? terrible. What do you think, chat? How are we feeling about this super world? <laughs> we feeling okay? <laughs> or are we feeling remorse? Okay, let's grab this third coin. Go this way, and we know this time that when we go down with the donut blocks, we gotta be real conscientious about them. Wait a second. Whoa. I would have skipped that entirely if I hadn't been careful. Where are we going? What? What is this? Oh, oh, okay. What? What? What is going on? What is happening? Why? Why is this course like this? Why? Why is this creator doing this? What? What is the point of this level design? Where are we going with this? Ah! Ah! All these blind jumps! Why is there gotta be so many blind jumps? This is... No! Stop with the blind jumps! <laughs> ah. Ah. That's unfortunate.
I gotta say, the creator gives you lots of extra lives, so that's nice. Doesn't really make up for the rest of the level, but... You know. It's still something. Not necessarily something good, but still something. So you just have to guess which are the correct blocks, and if you go to the end, then you have to, like, get your jump done correctly. And then you get this bizarre snake block thing. And I'm pretty sure only the third one actually goes where you need it to. Yeah, that's what I thought. The other two just drop you off in the middle of nowhere. Okay, before I do this, is there any reason to go up here? I didn't think so. Okay, in the door. In the pipe. And to the flag. Phew! We died way too many times on that course. <laughs> Alright chat, what do you think? Win, lose, or draw. Win, lose, or draw. Draw. It's a draw. Alright, I'm gonna give this creator one more chance of redemption, but if the next level is a series of more blind jumps, we're gonna do something different. <laughs> So how's your guys' Tuesday been? I haven't heard much about how your week has been, which is one of my favorite things to ask. So how you guys been? Tell me about yourselves. Pretty good? It's always good to hear. Whoa. Whoa! There, there, there's a lot, okay. There's a lot going on here. Well, it's good to hear you've been good. <laughs> what you been up to? Uh oh, Koopa car. Oh my. Do you think I needed the car to make it? Oh my gosh. You needed the car. The car wasn't optional, guys. You needed the car. You needed the car! You can't beat the course without the car! No! Uh, that's sad. You beat your first Pokemon Nuzlocke. Hey, that's cool. That's always good news. Not too many casualties, I hope. Okay, so we know we need the... Gosh, there's a lot going on in this portion. So we know we need the car. We can't miss any jumps with the car. So that's interesting. You only lost two. Hey, that's not bad. I wish I'd had that kind of luck. <laughs> you guys have seen you guys have seen how it's been going in my nose lock. That has been an interesting experience. Okay. Alright. We can get back here pretty easily. That's not a problem. Timing this jump! Whoa. 
Oh, yeah, counters. It can be satisfying enough to land, but it's never very fun to experience, especially when it's used by the AI. It's like, really? When the AI uses it, it always feels like a cheap shot. One, two, three. We're just gonna say first try and call it good, right? I think there's something up here. Ah, key switch. Alright. Is this the exit? Please be the exit. It's a boom boom fight. Yeek! I wonder why this particular creator is allergic to checkpoints. One more try! This creator needs to put checkpoints in things. If they're gonna make all of their course challenges as tedious as possible, there needs to be a checkpoint. That was unfortunate. <laughs> okay. I'm actually kind of trying to let those bonsai bills hit me just to see if they will, but it looks like I can't actually die to those. Come on, Mario. Jump, 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 jump. Good. There's so much knockback on these. I love how the car just smashes into little bits and pieces. Like, that's so unnecessary, but it's funny. You know, I almost want to see what's over there, but Mario gets such lousy momentum in 3D World that, like, it wouldn't be worth it. I know I'd find nothing but death on the other side. All right, let's do this. Come on. Oh, where, where are you going, Boom Boom? One moment. I, I, I gotta be honest. I feel like we could probably find a more enjoyable super world than this one. So I am going to make the executive decision as the streamer to boo this thing because it is tedious and dull. And then we're going to go somewhere else. <laughs> wow! That was just really bad. <laughs> that was really bad. That was a... I'm sorry, there's no gentle way to put this. That course was disgusting. I did not... I didn't enjoy a single second of that course. I have... No idea why. 
let's look let's look at this guys let's do this let's let us go back for a moment and use our our friend the the level viewer to figure out just what the heck that was supposed to be because that was terrible yeah no wonder the clear rate is so low the course is disgusting nine four in four f1 bpg all right let let's let's take a look at this let's find out just how much longer this level designer planned for us to go through this tedium like how much more of this stuff were we gonna have to tolerate because in case because i'm sure you guys noticed there were no checkpoints like they just refused to use one there was no checkpoint there, there could have been a checkpoint but no there wasn't all right here we go i'm gonna i'm gonna show you guys and we're gonna go through this whole experience together what what this level designer intended for us to do let's see here all right so we'll, we'll get rid of the overworld so here's so here's the sub world or overworld first there's a thwomp you go through the pipe so you go through the first pipe and the first pipe drops you here and then there's a thwomp right you, you guys can see right behind my head okay good so you go past all that stuff, you get blargs and lots and lots of these guys, and then you, 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 you walk through that spot and you drop out of warp block A, and then warp block A drops you into warp block B, which is totally pointless, and then warp block B drops you onto a Koopa car, and you take the Koopa car and you go blah 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 blah, you smash through all these blocks, and then you climb way up here for no reason, and then you enter the sub, and then you exit the sub world, almost. Because you have to take the P-switch door. And then you take the P-switch door. And the P-switch door leads you to pipe B. Which is two inches from the entrance to pipe A. So already we're off to an amazing start here. But then, after you get through pipe B, you gotta fight Boom Boom. And you gotta fight Boom Boom to get through door A. And then after you fight Boom Boom, you gotta fight Pom Pom. And after you fight Pom Pom... No, actually, I'm sorry. That's not Pom Pom. That's Boom Boom with wings. So you gotta fight that Boom Boom. And then you gotta get through that key door. And once you do that, then and only then, are you granted access to the flagpole. So you gotta go through all of this stuff and you can't make any mistakes the whole way and you're not given a power up the entire time. And, and, <clears throat> wow. Wow. I, yeah. So, um, we're not going to play that super world anymore or that course because that was just that was just tedium for the sake of tedium. There was absolutely no reason for that course to be designed like that. That was just it was just painful. Just absolutely the worst. Ow. Okay. I'm going to have a headache after that one. Hmm. So yeah, um, let's try a different super world because I do not, I do not feel like any of us deserve to put up with that stuff any longer. <laughs> Whoo, boy, oh boy, oh boy. That was just, mm, mm. That's, that's the, yeah, that's, uh, whoo. All right. <laughs> Finally, the verdict is hot trash. Thank you, Shiny, for the channel points. And let's uh, let's bail out of there and oops, hang on. Let's bail out of there and try a different super world. Hopefully, something a little less whatever that was supposed to be. All right. All right, chat. You know the drill. I will spin the wheel until something gets flung at my head. We could be here a while. Super William World. Thank you, Luke. Five worlds, 20 courses. Let's do it. 
Actually, it's technically Super Willy AM world, but... You know. Alright. Is this a boss fight level? Let's find out what we're up against here. Starter level, world one. Ten lives. Alright. 3D Super... New Super Mario Brothers. Okay, we're gonna go down the pipe. What? Whoa! Okay, I got baited. <laughs> I was baited! Okay, so now we know. We're gonna wait for him to come back out so I can fry him. There we go. Okay. Get rid of these guys. There's a lack of two. Whoa. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. Lot going on here. Okay. Uh, no thank you. Bye. Whew. Alright. A chaotic start. Rather chaotic. What do you think, chat? Win, lose, or ski Win, lose, or pass. Win, lose, or pass. Apparently the current world record is 11 seconds. That person blew through that course. Alright, we'll just skip. Alright, well, we're off to a decent start here. Uh, I'll take this pipe, I suppose. Oh, okay, it's just a shortcut to the other section. <laughs> That's funny. Which I guess means we go straight to the boss level from here. The boss of World 1. World 1, level titled 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright then. So, there's a checkpoint. That's convenient. We're just gonna jump on this guy. You know, I wonder... I wonder if this could be cheesed. Ah! Okay. That is absolutely cheesable. Absolutely cheesable. I just, what I need to do is I need to not blow myself up. I need to wall jump off of there. That's all I gotta do. Or that, I could just do that. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get the top of the flagpole and I was denied with a capital Delta. All right. Well, um, I can't really comment on that level. We just cheesed the whole thing. Onwards to World 2. Which presumably will have more, uh, more levels in it. Alright, we got an airship level with 31 players. Let's do it. Link to the past. Ooh. It says it's multiplayer versus, which is interesting. I wonder if that's actually true. Oh. Okay, well, that was sad. Is there... It, uh, wow, okay. Enough of the... You think the sound effects are... Enough, the... Well, I'm disoriented. Yeah, ba-ba! Okay, I don't want to go to the sub-world. I'm, yeah, no. 
Oh boy. Well, I'm, um, I'm dizzy. Anyone else? What do you think? Win, <laughs> win lose, or draw? <laughs> Is that a win, lose, or a draw? It's hard to say, right? It's not that hard to say. <clears throat> Anyone ever wonder if, like, if they make a Mario Maker 3, do you think Mario Maker 3 will just be, like, kind of like Mario Maker 2, except Nintendo removes the ability for you to make to add special sound effects. I feel like that would be an incredible inclusion, is the removal of that feature entirely. Reach the goal as Fire Mario. I mean, that doesn't sound too bad. I just messed up. I messed up! I needed that. I needed the <laughs> guys. I needed the. I needed the. I needed the. Uh, yeah. I needed the thing in the jig. There we go. I need him to open this. Break the door! Do it! No! Okay. I am now Fire Mario. So we've got the clear condition. Good. We just gotta get through the rest of whatever this is. Oh, okay. That wasn't so bad. Oh yeah, Mario time. Winged. Winged it. Winged it. Well, I gotta say these uh, these levels have not given us a single coin. Does anyone else find that a little strange? We haven't made any... We haven't gotten any coins from this experience yet? What's up with that? Goomba and Koopa Troopa warships. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna wait for that bob bomb to float over my head. Grab this one too. Why not? Okay, now... Whoa. Okay, uh, there, there's, a, there, there's a lot going on here. Oh, oh, ah. Okay, excuse me. Ow, okay. Leap, oh, I overleaped. <laughs> I don't know, chat. Does this does this count as a super world? <laughs> like these these courses are all fifteen seconds long. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how we feel about this. <laughs> all right. Well, next level. Here we go again. Hey, chat, can I ask you guys a question? I'm gonna put this in the Discord later, but I've been wondering if it might be a good idea to change up the schedule. Um. Uh. Really? He jumped right when I did. Anyway, I was thinking instead of doing like Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, like I've been doing, it might be cool to do a, a different day. Um. And I was just curious if you guys have any preferences for what those days might be. If not, that's totally okay. I'm just curious. And your feedback would be appreciated. If I hear radio silence, then I will assume you have all fallen asleep. <laughs> okay, that was dumb, but it was kind of funny. 
You got you gotta give me credit for trying, right? Okay, we're not gonna go back for the extra. Wow, there's there's just a lot to unpack here. Hey, we got we got through the pipe without getting hit. That's cool. Oh, it's Yoshi! Yoshi! I love Yoshi. I like Yoshi for all sorts of reasons. Whoa. Well, that's interesting. I don't know what's... Oh, no, it's just solid turf. Oh, that's not so bad. Let's, uh... Get Mr. Thwomp to follow us. Oh. Whoa! No, Yoshi! No! Yoshi, my beloved. Come back to me. What was that noise? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. We got through it in one piece. All right, chat. Well, um, I didn't hear any opinions, but that's okay. <laughs> it might just mean you want me to stick with what we're doing, which is totally fine. But part of the reason I asked was because I've been wondering if it would be good to reevaluate um, the schedule for the sake of making it easier on some people. I know some folks have, you know, school, they have work, their life schedules have changed. And so I'm just curious. And that's why I asked, but there's absolutely, like, no immediate requirement. Wow. Uh, what do you think the plan is here? Flag yet. Thank you, Shiny. It's just like Super Mario Sunshine, right? What? Okay. Well, that's rude. I didn't even see the- I didn't even see the thing, I was just standing on top of it. Okay, well, in the pipe we go. Subworld time! Can I go back through this pipe? No, I cannot. This looks like it requires a little bit of platforming. Or I could just cheese it, that's- that's cool too. I look at all these bonus coins. I like it. I... Oh, that is the most embarrassing way I've died. I can't believe I died to that. I died to my avarice. Let my greed be a cautionary tale to you all. That being said, I'm gonna go back and grab these coins too. Alright. Into the pipe. You know what? Maybe don't learn from my greed, because I won on the next life, and I got a bunch of extra lives for grabbing all those coins, so actually I came out ahead. So this is not a lesson about avoiding greed at all. Although it is a lesson in making a level that's like one minute, like 16 seconds long, last a whole minute, so I guess there's that, right? All right. Let's see here. Let's do this one. I mean, we could take the pipe, but this looks like more fun. Yo Ugh. Sorry, guys. Yoshi riding mishap. Reach the goal while riding Yoshi. Uh-oh, I got a battery that's dying. Whoa ho ho ho! No thank you. There are a lot of fireballs there. What? What is? What? What the? What the heck is this? What? 
What kind of... That's a level. I I genuinely cannot fathom what happened just now. Like there was just so there was that was such a strange design. This is one of those levels where like you know you can't actually make the jump, but you totally want to try. Oh well, let's take the pipe. Blow up these hammer boys. Okay, well, blow up one of the hammer boys. Oh, the key was useless. Yeah, whatever. Just I frame it. I <laughs> frame. a boom boom on my noggin what kind of course design is that you just drop a boom boom on my noggin So we know, boom boom from above. We'll just keep moving though. Huh. I, uh, I gotta say, I don't, I don't know what to make of that. All right, chat, well, I think, um, I think I need to get a drink of water. So if it's okay with you all, I'm gonna put you guys through a brief ad break and I'll catch you on the flip side, okay? I'll be right back.
All right. Thanks for bearing with me, folks. So, yeah. Um, what do you guys think? Should we keep playing the Super World or maybe should we switch games? That's a genuine question, by the way, if you guys have an opinion. I mean, we'll keep doing this level while I wait for you to decide, but this will be my, uh, this will be my, this will be my guess for now. <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh, okay. At least two are just going to keep button heads with each other. Well, that's easy enough for me to deal with. Old Bay Chicken. What's the difference between Old Bay Chicken and New Bay Chicken, Luke? Oh. Okay, that was that was me getting distracted. A rigid version of the invisibility cloak? I don't know. I never thought about it, but that does sound like it could be potentially useful. Oh, it had okay. Well, it's named for the seasoning. Okay, that makes sense. Might just not be a brand I'm familiar with. Well, that's... That's interesting. Okay. Oh. In that case, I've probably had it at some point and just, you know, don't really remember it. Well, um, despite my, despite my inclination, I can't actually seem to get through here. Can I take one of the pipes? No? Guys, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I must have missed something super obvious. I can't go through that pipe. Like the initial set of thwomps from the beginning? Ah, I did not mean to do that. You think I should try to go through those dudes? I mean, that might very well be the solution. I just... Oh, no. Oive. That'd be interesting if they wanted me to backtrack all the way over here for that, but it's not unheard of. This ain't gonna cut it. Those aren't it. Ah, I didn't make it. Okay, well, let's try again. Although, is it going to regenerate the originals? It does. It respawns them. How annoying. Uh, how did I manage to jump in between those two? How did I even do that? Okay. Grr. Are you serious? How? Mario, stop! <laughs> he... He... What? Ah, no! 
Thanks, Shiny. It was good having you here, as always. You have a good rest of your evening, okay? See you next time. Okay, I legitimately can't believe I somehow managed to mess up that jump every time so far. Let's just... No! Mario! Okay, that was my fault, but I want to blame Mario anyway. <laughs> if these two thwomps are the ones with the key, though, I, I'm going to scream. Because that is just unnecessarily tedious. I... <sighs> what did I even get squished by? I didn't even... I don't... Hmm! I'm struggling. I'm struggling hard. Okay. Good. Alright. Okay. Perfect. This does not feel like it should be so hard for me to do. I'm <laughs> if we had, if we had like, if we had like, uh, what's it called? Failure music, you know, failure montage music. We'd be playing it right now. This should be plenty. They don't have it. Neither of these guys had the, had the, neither of them had it. So if they don't have the key, where is it? What is that? What is that? What is that supposed to be? What is that what is that even supposed to be? I Am I missing something super obvious and I just don't see it? What am I missing, chat? What? What am I? What am I not seeing here? I can't go in this pipe. I can't go in this pipe. I can't go in this pipe. Well, that wasn't right either. I'm confused. What am I missing? I don't... I don't get it. Hold on, that's not it. I don't want that. Does anybody have a comment for me? Like, are there... is there a tip that somebody left behind? Maybe a clue? Clue from anyone? I don't think that pipe can be entered either. So... What am I missing? We've, we've wiped out everything we can, and to my knowledge, gone up every pipe we can. So... What do you guys think I might be missing?
what am I missing? Yeah, this just takes me a few inches further in the level. That doesn't help me. So... What am I? What am I not seeing? I don't see a bomb anywhere. I thought I might have seen a bomb, but I didn't see a bomb. There's no way to enter that pipe. That pipe does not let you enter it either. I'm stumped. I'm legitimately not sure what I'm supposed to do to get out of here. We know that's a bottomless pit of death. I saw, I saw, locked myself. All right, you know what though? I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I want to know what we're supposed to do. So I'm going to bring out yet another instance of cheese. Look at that. The clear rate on most of these levels is like 30%, 48%, and then it just jumps all the way down to 5% here. Which means something in this, this was the point at which our creator friend here decided to pull some kind of shenaniganery. So let's see, the code is HSM, so High School Musical. S9886G. Alright, let's see here. Let's, let's uncover this dirty secret and figure out what we're supposed to do. It'll take a second, of course. Oh, invisibility cloak. Sorry, Luke. I just realized I never fully asked, answered your question. So, the answer to your question is I would probably be willing to pay quite a bit. I mean, assuming I was a wealthy, wealthy Pokemon, I'd be willing to part with quite a bit for that. Okay, so you go here, you take pipe A. Perfect. Pipe A drops you here. You use the cat suit to break these blocks open. That makes sense. And then the two thwomps try to smash your face in. And then you use block A, where you go past the next set of thwomps. And you can't enter the pipe. There is no invisible block with a key. Wait, how does that work? There's no... There's no key. What am I... There's no key, guys. There's no key in the subworld. I mean, there is one, but you can't get to it. Because these blocks don't break if you hit them with a cannonball. I... There's no exit. You would need a key to open door A, and then you would need to go into pipe B. And from pipe B, you would need another key to go to door A, and then door A would take you to all these... You would need all the keys, actually. And then you go back to door B. Wait, where does door B take you? It takes you to another block, which takes you to door C. And then door C goes to the flag. So it's... It's tedious as heck, but I still haven't figured out... I still haven't figured out how to get through the... the, the... How do you get out of the subworld? There's no exit. Is there a glitch and they just didn't... Is there a glitch and they just patched it and I don't see... And there's no... Oh, there's the key. 
there's the key. Okay, all right. Let's let's test it. I think I see it. Wow, that is dirty. That is really dirty. Before we play the Super World version, let's just let's just play it the old-fashioned way. So, twelve feet by eight inches. Well, that doesn't seem doesn't seem like it'd be all that practical, Luke. I mean, I guess it'd be practical for my size, but not too many other people. There's the key. You have to duck and fire here to get to it. Then you open this door. Then you go in here. You grab all of these keys. You jump into the warp block and then the next warp block. And then the next warp block. And then into the key door. And then into the next warp block. And then into the key door. And then you're done. Wow. D chat! Chat, is there any debate? as to what rating that level deserves? Is there any debate at all? What the hey, hi, ho, hum was even going through this creator's mind? Hot garbage. We had to, we had to use our hacks just to get through the darn thing. Good grief. The large one is two feet by three feet for four hundred dollars. Dang. That is a not insignificant chunk of change, Luke, but it sounds interesting. So what let me uh I wanna s I wanna see. Show, show, blah, 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 blah. show me the link. I wanna I wanna hear about this. I wanna I wanna I wanna read about this. Let's check out let's check out the invisibility cloak. Now that you brought it up, I wanna know more. <laughs> Mm. Ow. While you're doing that, let's uh let's get out of here. Okay, alright, I see it. I got the link. Let's uh let's flip over to the level browser. Let's check this out. A real, a real working, fully functional invisibility shield. Now we need your support to finish turning science fiction into reality and make them available for everyone. Huh. Well, I mean, it's interesting. It's it's there's some refraction going on here, obviously. Uh, it's it's not a perfect effect because you can definitely see on the photo like where some of the lines are being drawn But if you're looking at this stuff in passing, I think you'd definitely fool people Because it, it It does seem to blend the details high resolution and visibility large enough to hide multiple people No power source required. Well, that makes sense packs to a thickness of two inches weighs less than nine pounds Hey, just like me Made from fully recyclable marine gray materials, also just like me. Um, rewards. If you support our project, we will manufacture and ship. Assembly takes 10 minutes and it... Assembly? Oh, I see. Want more than one? Pledge the two or more full-size shields tier to get... Huh. Okay, I don't think you would need quite a few for the elephant here, but 
That's interesting. So yeah, let's let's hear how this works. Each shield uses. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me let me do this in my. Let me do this in my um, <clears throat> science science announcer voice. Try try and do my best impression of a Discovery Channel Discovery Channel narrator. Each shield uses a precision engineered lens array to direct much of the light reflected from the subject away from the observer, sending it sideways across the face of the shield to the left and right. Because the lenses in this array are vertically oriented, the vertically oriented strip of light reflected by the standing or crouching subject quickly becomes very diffuse when spread out horizontally on paths into the back of the shield. In contrast, the light reflected from the background is much brighter and whiter, so when it passes through the back of the shield, far more of it is refracted both across the shield and towards the observer. From the observer's perspective, this background light is effectively smeared horizontally across the front face of the shield over the area where the subject would ordinarily be seen. The drawing is not to scale, just in case anyone was curious. Well, I gotta be honest, Luke, I cannot personally think of an overwhelmingly practical reason I would need something like this um, in real life, but the technology is pretty cool. I mean, this definitely looks like a... This definitely looks like a fun thing. I mean, again, I'm not entirely sure what I could do with it, but are they gonna get, do they have enough? Uh, well, it looks like they've got a fair, fair number of backers. Some people already want two of them. So, I mean, they, they are working there. The only thing our shields have been designed to do is shield you from view. They're not designed to con protect you from attack and we will not be shipping them to Russia or Belarus. Copy that. Well, that's neat. Um, yeah. What do you guys think? Y'all, to the rest of you, y'all want an invisibility shield? Again, I don't, I don't know that I would use this, but the concept is pretty fun. And it looks like they're trying to break down their fees. 20% for fulfilling, 26% for taxes. Goodness gracious. They have searched extensively to find international shipping providers. In case you're wondering why shipping seems low for such a large item. Huh. Well, it's definitely interesting. Definitely, uh, definitely not the craziest thing I've ever seen on a Kickstarter, but definitely uh, up there on the list of more eccentric items. I don't remember the last time I actually backed something on Kickstarter. I remember I once saw a movie that was going to be about a woman whose pets turn into people. Like, so she's like gone through a bad breakup and she says something about how animals never judge you and then she wakes up one day and her cat and her dog have both turned into like humans and like they both like her because they're her pets but they're not like i'm not sure how to describe this without it sounding like super creepy that might be because the concept is super creepy but that was one of the things that they had on the kickstarter and the funny thing about it was as i recall one of the one of the actors they had signed up for it was Sean Astin. And if you don't know who Sean Astin is, although you very well might, he's he's the guy who played um, uh, Sam Gamgee in the Lord of the Rings movies. He's been in a few other things since then, but that's that's what I think most people remember him for. That and maybe uh, the the goose, the, the goose, not the goose, the, um, the Goonies. There it is, that's what the word is, the Goonies. Because he's, he's a kid in that movie too. He's been in some other more recent stuff, obviously, but yeah, they had him on there. I don't think that movie actually made its budget, which doesn't super surprise me, but yeah. It's got, wow, it's got $202,000 pledged of its $6,500 goal. That's, uh, that's impressive. Well, Luke, if you do decide to purchase it, you'll have to let us know how it works and uh, how effective it is for sure. All right, well, well, chat, I gotta be honest, I, uh, I don't feel like we should go back to that previous Mario Maker world. I don't think there was any, I don't think there was any chances that it was gonna, like, start getting better. 
So, let's do this. Um, we'll go back and try... We'll try one more. But... Um, I'll pick it this time, just at, just because. And after this, we will probably call it a night, unless we're like suddenly raided or something like that. How does that sound? Thirty lives, a hundred and seventy-four coins. Let's say. On the other hand, this course may be the most tedious thing of all time, and if that happens, we just won't bother. Yeah, I need that. Come back. Okay, so this is just 1-1 one, one so far. Or it was 1-1. One, one. Whoa. Let's say I think we're gonna get the squirrel suit. Alright, we're doing good so far. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Oh my. Wow, it, 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 okay. It gets significantly more difficult. Good to know. <laughs> All 174 coins. That's, that's rough. That's, that's pretty rough. Ooh, careful. Alright, let's do this. I do appreciate the coin guide. That's 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 useful. All you had to do was jump, man. Wait a minute, I might still make it. I, see, I got the clear condition. Oh, hey. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh boy. No, thank you. Hey. a bit of a false start there, but that's that went pretty well. I like it. That was a fun course. Props to the creator for that one. Let's see, does the next one keep up that level of quality? <laughs> um, wow, 918. That must be really late. Oh boy. 243 coins. Are they all going to be like this? Okay, so there's a cat suit here. Oh my. Oh! Oh, okay. Uh. That's terrifying. <laughs> Oh, I'm not allowed to take damage. I'm not allowed to take damage. Or if I do, I'm not allowed to take very much. Progressive power. Oh, got it. Well, at least I can take damage once without getting in trouble. I just can't do it twice. Look at all these coins. Goodness. Such avarice. Alright, well, that went pretty well. 
with exactly 250 seconds to spare. Not bad. Onwards we doth proceed. Alright, what do we got next? Nobody's playing this one yet, or at least nobody else is, so let's give it a shot. Uh, reach the goal after grabbing at least 95 coins. Okay, so this time there's no... This time it's not... I mean, there's still a clear condition, but there might be more than 95 coins. Yeah, that's a good idea, Luke. Maybe, maybe that is what's going on here. Tight. Gosh, that is rough. Because Mario has to get out enough momentum to... There we go. Now we got the clear condition. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like this creator's thing is to just give you a trick, like a trick move that you have to pull off. And that's just the whole level. Like you just gotta pull off one slightly challenging maneuver and then you're given the okay to proceed. But like you said, Luke, it's like a little bit NSMB2 style because all of it's about collecting as many coins as you can. All right, let's do this. Oh, 29 seconds to r okay. Okay, so that's not what I'm supposed to do, clearly. Do we just ride these to the end? Huh? Uh, what? Hold on. What exactly are we going to do here? Oh. Got it. Gosh, that's actually kind of, that's not easy. I don't know that I can do that. Yikes. I think I get the concept, Luke, but I don't know if I can actually do it. Like, if this isn't high enough, nothing will be. Camera doesn't really let me go any higher than that, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. I can't go any higher than that, and I don't have enough ammunition. Well, that doesn't help. Because <sighs> once you're standing on it, you can't really... 
really like switch it up. Oh. Okay, well that time I just missed my jump, so that's that's an oops. Start with raising the back one. All right, well, let's give it a shot. I guess I gotta do it faster. Hmm, okay, maybe I went too fast. That was sad. Oh, that time I just whiffed the jump. I have not figured out the timing here. Start with raising the back one. Well, it would help if I would stop choking on the jump. We're gonna game over. <sighs> I don't think I can get it much higher than I have been. I slipped right off. All the other levels up to this point have been pretty chill. My battery died. My battery died. No. Are you serious? <laughs> uh, I thought I might have a chance and then my battery died. Hey, Link Chu. Caught me probably at the tail end of today's stream. Struggling pretty hard here. This level has given me a, given me a real kick in the pants. Like, I can't go any higher than this. Well, that might be it. Maybe? Does the stuff ever go back down? It's not going back down. What? Are you serious? Ah, I choked. I choked! So you gotta ride it all the way to the end, and then you gotta perfectly time your jump. And you gotta not do that. Ugh! This is rough. This is really rough. Get 
it's... I can't even see where Mario's landing, so that is not an easy jump to make. Oh, I'd like to, Luke, but by the time I get the energy to do that, Mario's already like... Okay, well... By the time I get to the part where Mario would be able to do that, I've already... I've already lost all my momentum because the bullet below me is getting sucked up into the juice. Ah! Come on. Yeah, you said it. You said it, Link Chu. Ah. We did it. <laughs> ah, my goodness. That was brutal. Hold on, hold on. know how I feel about that level. <laughs> I can't decide if I liked it or don't. <laughs> like, is that, a, is that a course that we like? Is that a course that we boo? Is, it that a, is that a course that we just forget ever happened and hope to never encounter again? What, what do we do with that? How, how do we emotionally express our feelings about this? <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, thank you all for witnessing my clutch moment. Since we didn't game over, I guess we'll keep playing. I was legitimately expecting that to be the end, so... <laughs> thank you all for witnessing my clutch moment. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. What's the next level? It'd be actually very satisfying if we did complete the super world, but I do not want to get ahead of myself. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Huh. Oh. <laughs> ah! Graceful. Let's see, I figured I'd probably still lose a life for what I just did, but couldn't help but try. Can I blame the ice physics? Do, do I get to do that? Do I get to call a mulligan for the ice physics? <laughs> okay, well, we'll grab the next one. It's easier to just grab onto this dude. I don't know why we would... I don't know why I was bothered to throw it. I could just... I hope this is the right thing to be doing. 
Oh, okay. Oh, I see the challenge now. I see the challenge. We're gonna have... Well... <clears throat> We're gonna have Fanto right up in our Cheerios the whole time. I'm already off to a bad start. Uh-oh. No! We were doing so good! <laughs> okay, so now we know where the real challenge of this level comes from. It's surviving Fanto. Has anyone else ever wondered how Fanto is programmed? I've wondered. I'm like, how how do they decide what Fanto's AI looks like? Because it's definitely an interesting experience, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we call him Fanto. He's an enemy from SMB2 that is completely persistent in how much generally... He's very persistent is all I can say. He likes to get up in your face and give you kisses when you pick up the key that he likes to guard and it's like, could you maybe give me a little more personal space, Fanto? He's also one of the only Mario enemies that is pretty much invulnerable to everything. Like, in his first appearance, you couldn't actually ki kill him with a star. You could get us. the only way you could do that, the only way you could kill him with a star like, the star, which could kill, you know, everything. But it did not kill him, unless time was also frozen. Okay, well, I don't know how I fell off of there, since I don't remember moving, but okay. Yeah, Fanto was a pain. But I feel like in Mario Maker 2, he's gotten a little more persistent. The funny thing was, in the original, you could throw away the key, and then Fanto would leave you alone. In this game, the key sticks with you until you go to a door. So Fanto does too. Darn it! And the problem is you can't ride the bullets back if Fanto hits you because then you lose your SMB2 special ability physics. It's too bad snowballs don't affect Fanto. Yeah, I think that's an accurate way of putting it, Luke. Like, he's, he's definitely more persistent, but also a little less right uh, right up in your Cheerios. He's still up in your Cheerios, just less so. I have such a small window of space to get away from him to begin with that it's already a challenge. There we go. I don't even need it. I don't even need the SMB2 mushroom. Just get me out of here. Okay, it's a boss fight with Bowser. Just keep throwing snowballs at him. <laughs> Just keep flinging snowballs at his stupid face. Oh look, another Fanto. No thank you. Alright! How's that? <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all. And it only took 27 tries. You know, give or take. <laughs> I like it. Hey, we were close to the world record, too. Alright, that brings us to the next level. I wonder what the gimmick will be for this course. 
On off. Reach the goal after grabbing all 136 coins. Oh my. Oh, this is gonna be a pain. No, I hate these. Okay, listen, I think up until now, even the challenging courses have been pretty great. This is just tedium. see where this is going and I don't like it in the bit. What? Okay. They can't give me a checkpoint because it's got a clear condition. No checkpoint, because it's got a clear condition. This is going to require some insane timing. Yep. Before we go any further, let's just get that out of the way. be honest with you. Sometimes I think that Mario's plumbing business is just like just a thing that like they say they used to come up like hang on. Let me get back to you. <laughs> Tedium. Okay. I think Mario has time for his plumbing business in the same sense that, like, government has time to legislate. It's technically the job, but I don't think he actually does that much of it. Because he's got so many other things to do. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh no. 
No! I unspawned it! I unspawned it! I could have cheesed the level and I did it backwards! Dang it! I had the chance to cheese that level and I did it backwards. occurred to me that this could have been <sighs> okay it looks like I just gotta run like crazy to get through that section this is not a good level <laughs> I've liked most of the creators levels I mean, even the gimmicky ones, but this is just bad. Getting this timing down is hard. You can spam the jump button, jump button for that part. Okay. Oh boy, we made it, guys. Took us a few tries, but we did make it. Congratulations to me on being the first person to comment on that garbage. Hey, okay. hopefully the next level will not be like that. <laughs> We're still going strong, guys. 28 lives. Come on. Reach the goal is Flying Squirrel Mario. All right. I think we can do that. I think. 50 second speed run. Whoa, okay. What? Oh, okay. I gotta get, I think I gotta get a triple jump for a start. I gotta get the triple jump. That's not easy. Mm. Well, that ain't it. Maybe I don't need the triple jump. Maybe I just need to jump from up here. Well, okay, Mario. It would help. It would help if my finger didn't slip off the jump button and thereby hijack my chances, right? Yeah. 
Ah! Oh, no. Well, I'm speaking in the proverbial sense, Luke. No, I don't, but if I tell people my mind slipped off the trigger, they just start to think I'm out of my mind mind. That... Oh, no. I don't see what I'm doing wrong there. Oh, no. Well, that time I went, went too late. Push the wrong button entirely that time. Got it. Okay, I need the extra height and I need to wait until the very last possible second. We're talking near the death barrier here. Oh. There we go. I had a really good start that time. I actually managed to get a double jump off the top block, so that was really good. Alright, we're gonna skip the rating on this level and just move on, because that was interesting, but not particularly terrible. Alright. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. This is world three, guys. I think we're close to the end. I think. No clear condition on this one. It's marked as short and sweet. Uh. Uh. What? Excuse me? Uh, what? Oh, that's trippy. You can actually hear the splashing noises. That was weird, okay. So this is like an Uno Moss sort of level. So I guess after that last course, there's not a lot of skill involved here. The last level forced us to think a little hard. This one just... This one just lets you run through lava. No, no I don't, but I'm familiar with the term Unomas and what it entails in the Mario Maker community. But no, I don't watch Carl. Hmm. Let's see here. Huh. Why if I have a weird feeling about this one? Ah, okay. Oh, that was him? That's funny, I didn't know that, actually. Got it, okay. <laughs> well, now I gotta go back down here and try that again. Huh. 
Well, I've actually seen that mechanic several times before, so that was interesting. I didn't know he would say that. That's funny. I usually think of Uno Mas as like a glitch level. Like, it shows off a mechanic in the game that was probably not directly intended by Nintendo, but has not been patched out. Well, we might as well try the one-up house. I hope it's not that stupid baseball. But in the game, it is. Still got one extra life. <laughs> I'm not good at the baseball minigame. Alright, folks. Everything we've learned. It all comes down to this. Save it. All right, good. Gotta keep spinning. Just keep spinning. Just keep spinning. I have fallen too far. Okay, well, we know what we gotta do. Just keep mashing the spin button over and over and over and over. No, but that is a great idea. Provided I can get the timing right, which I did not do just now. This is tough. Oh, no. Why? <laughs> Why does this have to be the level we finish on? Why couldn't it have been something exciting? <laughs> doing pretty well.
is a strain on my brain. <sighs> Guys, we might have to stop here. I don't know if I can do this. Yeah, that sounds terrible, Luke. You're right. I would hate playing that. Yeah, if you miss even one jump, Mario just descends immediately. This is rough. This is really rough. Because if you miss even one spin, you're done. You miss one spin and you're done. You're not allowed to miss any... You're not allowed to miss... And the timing is more precise than it looks because there is a window at which Mario will just ignore your input. I missed. Oh, no. You miss one. You miss one spin, and he just drops like a stone. I don't remember changing my pattern, but I guess I messed up. One, two, 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 one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. One, two, 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 one, two. Dang it! Even calling out my even calling out my inputs doesn't seem to be helping here. <sighs> Online metronome. All right, I might give that a try after this one. If that doesn't work, though, we're going to call it. That'll that'll be it. We'll have... I mean... There's a certain point at which you got to know to cash in your chips, right? Dummy X. Welcome to the chat. We were uh, just trying to decide if this level is worth beating. <laughs> so far, the answer seems to be probably not. But you've got a course for me to try, I see. Alright, let's 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 do this. Let's turn on the metronome. 
Let's get a metronome ready. You think 140 BPM? All right, let me listen to that for a second. Hundred and forty BPM. One, two, three, four. 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 All right, let's try it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay. This might do it. One, two, three, four, 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 one, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, 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 Made it. Oh yeah, Mario time. Whew. Thank you, thank you, Luke. I don't think I could have figured that one out without you. Metronome for the win. You'd think that would be a move I knew how to use, but nope. Just Mew and Clefairy. Alright, well, thank you, Dummy X, for the for the uh, suggestion. I hope you'll stick around for future streams, and uh, I'll uh, I'll give your level a whirl. But first, let us witness the successful end of the super world. We made it all the way through, and Yoshi is escorting us away, even though Yoshi did not actually contribute. <laughs> Phew! We did it, guys. Not bad. That was rough, but we made it in one piece. All right, so let's see. We got another course. H, eight, R, four, nine, J, S, B, G. All right. Training day. Current clear rate is 1.4%. 66 attempts with a world record of four, just under 15 seconds. All right, Dummy X, I gotta be honest, your course looks a little bit beyond my skill level, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. And I hope in exchange you'll uh, give me a shot and show up again next week. Oh, a shell jump. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so first thing you all need to know about me is I can't do shell jumps. Legitimately. I have never figured out how a shell jump works. I've seen lots of other people do them. I cannot. I will give this a good college try, Dummy X. I, I want to give your level the justice it deserves, but this is actually the kind of trick I cannot do. I am not good at Kaizo, and I am terrible at shell jumps. I don't think I have executed one successfully yet. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but not let it not be said I didn't try. I may not succeed, but I want to try. <laughs> I don't even know what that was supposed to be. Alright. Mm. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> I just, just threw the shell straight up in the air. You know, the 15 second clear rate makes me think, or clear check makes me think that it's not, it's not the longest level. It's just, you started us off with a shell jump. I'm not good at shell jumps. <sighs> ah, what a way to go. Okay, I did... I, I guess I'm throwing it straight up in the air for some reason. Uh, well, that almost looked like it might have worked. Nope, I just threw it straight in my head. That's unfortunate. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> Did it twice. Ah, the pain. Gosh! I don't... Oh, that was it. I mean, it wasn't it, but it was it. <laughs> okay, that's how I managed to throw the shell over my head. Somebody clipped that. I actually just had my first ever successful shell jump. Unfortunately, it didn't actually get me to the ledge, because the ledge is tall, but... Ah! Ugh. Ugh. Struggle bussin'. Gotta release the shell earlier than I have been. Well, okay. Hmm. Maybe I need to release it later? No, it's earlier. I do need to release it a little earlier. Okay, I just threw it backwards by accident. I feel like that was close. That was probably also close. That... Yeah, I don't know what that was supposed to be. Nope. Nope. Send it backwards. I don't know what I'm doing, but I am not getting the timing right, because the shell keeps ending up above my head. I'm trying to drop it below me, but I fall faster than it does. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry, dummy X. I'm, I'm sure your course is a delight, but I... I can't do it. I wish I could, but I have tried levels with shell jumps. I have done practice rounds with shell jumps. I have, yeah, I've, this is not my first attempt and I have not 
ever mastered them, so I'm afraid that I'm going to have to bring your clear rate even lower because I do not have the skill set necessary to overcome your gauntlet of Kaizo, which I'm sure is a totally delightful level after that point, but... Hey guys, you know what I just realized? Dummy's not even in the chat anymore. I'm, I'm talking to someone who's not here. Well. Maybe that'll be the note we call it on. <laughs> it's kind of late. I know we're all tired. Gosh. <laughs> Just... Drop a level in the drop a level in the chat and then check out. Hey, all right, well then. <laughs> oh well. <sighs> anyway, that that's gonna be a wrap, guys. That's that's gonna be enough. I'm gonna wish you all a fantastic rest of your evening as I set up for a raid. We'll go check out what Narapi is doing with their game of Metroid Dread. Which probably means I won't stick around because Metroid Dread's not the kind of game I think I have the patience for. But I do want to drop a few people over. So in the interim, thank you guys, as always, for hanging out. You know it's always a pleasure. Uh, my plan is to go back on my regular schedule, but like I said, I might put out a poll and ask if anybody has other opinions on what we should do, like stream, not stream schedule wise. In, in the interim, at any rate, y'all know what to do. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch up with you next time. Ciao for now, y'all. Ciao for now. <laughs>